Hello, 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 hello. <laughs> I'm just drawing it on right here and I'm just using the, the ice pick to kind of sketch it in. And then when I get a line that, you know, a line that I like, that's okay, then I go in deeper with this V chisel, which is what these are too. And that just preserves the line so it doesn't melt away. Once you cut the silhouette out, then you just kind of cut the corners off. And it's amazing how fast it'll start looking like this dog. Are we similar? Ball size and anything? Pretty even, huh? Yeah. Yep. Looks the same. Okay. the best. I mean, he can carve anything in a heartbeat, anything you want. He was a tunnel engineer in Japan and then he studied to be a sushi chef. So he's a master sushi chef, which is pretty much where he got into ice sculpture was, you know, in sushi school. First time to see the ice sculpture, the Emperor's Hotel in Tokyo. That is the first time I, I touched the ice. My feeling is, wow, I want to try carving. It's never boring, it's so fun. Right now, Jeremy is a uh, really, really high skill because uh, he's a really good uh, painter. So easy to explain to the two dimension to change it to the three dimension. We're getting close. I mean, it's another half hour we'll be done. When the ice melts, it wants to even itself out. It wants to generalize itself. So in a lot of ways, you know, like this ball, if it's a little bit rough, as it melts, the little ridges are gonna melt first and it's gonna smooth itself out. Okay. <laughs>